As far as we know, there were about a thousand first folios printed. A thousand was a, a, a normal run. In fact, printers uh, wouldn't, the stationers' company wouldn't allow any runs that were greater than a thousand um, in order to give more work to their printers and typesetters. So this is one of a thousand. We probably have less than a quarter, perhaps about 229 maybe editions left, and this is one of them. Um, it was published by a consortium of publishers, including the printers Isaac Jaggard and Edmund Blunt. Um, and here on this, this uh, opening page, as it were, you have the famous engraving of William Shakespeare with that familiar domed head. And uh, it was engraved by Martin Druchout. Druchout um, was only probably 15 um, when Shakespeare died, um, and only in his early 20s when this was published. But Ben Jonson, in uh, an address to the reader here, seems to think it's a pretty good likeness of Shakespeare. He says, This figure that thou seest here put, it was for gentle Shakespeare cut, wherein the graver had a strife with nature to outdo the life. Oh, could he but have drawn his wit as well in brass as he hath hit his face, the print would then surpass all that was ever writ in brass. But since he cannot, reader look not on his picture, but his book. I do find this book a very exceptional book. It is probably the most significant book in world drama. Um, I'm delighted that we have this, this uh, a copy, that this copy belongs to the Royal Shakespeare Company. It was given by the man who built the original theatre in 1879 um, in Stratford. And without this book, as I said, we would not have half the works of Shakespeare. And I think we should be very, very grateful to John Hemmings and Henry Condell.